Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to learn how to get the row number in a table after partitioning or grouping the data based on certain columns. This is similar to row number function used in SQL Server. First, let's go to SQL Management Studio and I'll show you the data and then we'll try it in PBI. As you can see here, this is my data. I have a very limited number of columns. That is, I have the sale date, region, product, quantity. And then I have used the row number function. So as you can see here, let's take an example. We have the sales date and then we have a region, AMS, Americas, and we have different product categories. That is product A, B, et cetera. And then this is the result which I'm getting by using a row number or partition by. So basically I am grouping the data based on region and product. And then you are also sorting the data based on uh, sale, uh, sale date and then ranking uh, or counting the row number. As you can see here, product A and it, it falls into America's region. So row number one. Similarly, on uh, Jan 4th, I have another product that is row number two. Similarly, for Jan 10th, I have two products here. Uh, there is a repetition. So I need this, the third row to be counted as three and the fourth row should be counted as four. That's my ultimate objective here. So I'll show you how to do the same thing in PBI. So similar goes to the other products. So as you can see here, the counting gets uh, reset at, at a, a different product level. So America's B, again, it starts with one. And then AMS B, it's, uh, it's second. So same goes for other region and other products as well. So I'll show you how to do this in PBA. Let's go to PBA now. So here is the PBX file and I have loaded the data here. So as you can see, sale date, region, product and quantity. The first step what I do is go to external tools or oh, sorry, home and then select transform data. Okay, let me share my full screen. So we have the Power Query Editor here. What I'll do is first I want to sort the data based on certain columns. So the first thing I want to do is sort this by region. So sort ascending. And then I want to sort the data based on product. So I'll select sort ascending product. And then by sale date. Okay, sort by sale date. So we, we have the data in a proper format. Now what I'll do is go to the next tab here, add column, and then under the index column, I'll select the custom. Starting index one, increment by one. I'll select okay. Okay, so now as you can see here, we have created one more column called as index. So I'll save this and close this. Apply. So now, as you can see here, we have a new column called as index. So I'll, I'll explain why we created this index as well. So the next step is to create a new column. I'll rename it as step one to make it easier. So I will use calculate function and then in the expression, I will use count rows. So the table name is data here, data. And then filter, explicitly I'll state filter to the table data. Expression is, first I'll start with the sale date. is less than or equal to earlier of sale date. So in, in the last video, I have explained how to use the earlier function. So if you haven't watched, please check out that video. Then close the parenthesis. And then the next filter I would apply is region. I need to state explicitly has filter 
and then table is data and filter expression is region equal to earlier of region and then the last filter will be filter in the table data expression will be data product equal to earlier of data product close the parenthesis and hit enter and now as you can see here we have the result but it's not what we want so as you can see here americas yes row number one similarly for the second entry americas product a we have row number two but here is the catch so we have two entries on the same date 110 2021 and 120 21. so ideally i am looking for a row number so ideally this should be three and this should be four similarly this should be five similarly for uh, product b this should start with one two three and this is working but when when it is same date it's not giving us a exact result so what i'm going to do is i'll copy this okay just for our reference create a new column and then paste the same thing here let me change this as final so i'll add one more filter here filter data and expression is so this is where we use the index which we calculated index is less than or equal to earlier of index now see the difference now as you can see here right so we have a row number one two three four and whenever there is equal it, this index column takes care of that and similarly the classification for product b so one two three and four similarly for apj so we have row number one, two, three. Product B, one, two, three, four. Similarly for EMEA, it gets reset. So EMEA, product A, one, two, three. So this is how we can achieve the same thing which we have been doing in uh, SQL Server. But uh, remember, this is uh, very resource intensive and you might face performance issue if you have a very large set of data. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.